Library. I'm Miranda, the Youth Librarian, um, and today we're going to be doing a really cool craft that I think will be highly useful to those of you who are going back to school. <laughs> so we'll come over here to our ingredients. You can see that I have actually already made one. I was kind of curious, and it is your very own homemade stress ball. So when you're feeling the stress of having to study for something, or you know what, if you're just feeling stress in general, you know, there's so much going on right now, um, then you have your very own stress ball that you can just squeeze it and pound it and do whatever you want to to it. Within reason, of course, obviously, because it's made out of a balloon. So what you need is a couple of balloons. You'll need some string or some yarn or something like that, but that's only if you want your stress ball to have hair like mine does. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you'll need some cornmeal. Um, or there are some other things that you can do and experiment with, which makes this kind of a science experiment. Um, you'll need a funnel, you'll need a pencil, a marker, if you want your stress ball to have a face. If you don't want it to have a face, then you don't need a marker. Um, and then some scissors for the stuff that we need to cut. All right, so let's get started. What you'll need to do first is take your bottle, oh, and I should mention this, your bottle needs to have a very narrow opening because your balloon has to be able to fit down over on top of it. Now you can see that I've already got cornmeal in my bottle and that's because when I made this one earlier, I had plenty left over. I think I filled it to like right about here, maybe. Um, and like that was all I could get into my balloon before it started to fill up completely. So um, I'm gonna use what's already in here. But if we weren't gonna use what was in here, you take your funnel, put it in like that, open up your cornmeal and then just dump in whatever you needed until you had again probably about this much maybe a little bit less than what you're seeing in this bottle so first I'm gonna show you how to double up your balloons um, this was something that I saw uh, in a separate video that I thought was a really cool idea especially since this is a stress ball you're beating up on him um, or her um, you're beating up on it and um, having a double layer so you have to worry a little bit less about whether or not it's going to explode in your cornmeal or whatever you happen to want to use is going to go everywhere is super nice um, so there's a really easy way to double up your balloon I think we're gonna have orange on the outside so let's do blue on the inside you just take your pencil stick it down in there and then kind of wrap it, wrap your balloon around the pencil like so. <laughs> Apparently my camera person is really fascinated by this. <laughs> and then just like that, you have a balloon inside of a balloon. Super easy to do. And this one is also double ballooned. I'm not sure if you can tell or not. It's got the dark blue balloon and then the light blue balloon is on top of it. Okay, so once we've got our balloon doubled up properly. Here comes the hard part, which is probably easier um, if you have two sets of hands, but you can do it without it. Okay, just like that. And you want this part to be as much in the center of your bottleneck as it can be. Um, but what I found worked best, like some of the cornmeal is immediately going to start going down in. But if you kind of, and again, hold on to this part because you don't want your balloons accidentally coming off. And if you just kind of squeeze, and you can see it's already starting to fill up down in there. Just like I'm also kind of filling it full of air. Oh yeah, that's nice and full. This kind of helps to get the cornmeal down into the bottom. Um, yeah, I want a little bit more. It feels like my orange balloon is kind of full of air, so it's not quite as full as it seems like it is. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit more in there. probably pretty good. All right, so then for this part, obviously you don't want to pull the balloon off now because all of this is going to pour out. So you just kind of let that fall down into the bottom, then you've got your top, and then you're just going to kind of pull it off, and it might snap at you, but you know, it's not going to hurt too much. There we go. Okay, so now we have our balloon. 
And you can see it did get smaller, and that's because there was air in the orange balloon, but that's okay. And my blue balloon is down in there, and I kind of want to tie up both of them. What? Oh, <laughs> it must be an old balloon. It looks like a bit of my blue balloon oh. got stuck to... <laughs> that's okay, though. Um, when we tie it off, it shouldn't matter. We just have to make sure to tie off both. Otherwise... And this is a lot harder to do when you've got two balloons instead of one. In fact, I'm not sure I'm gonna... I had a hard time the first time around and this one is actually harder. Okay, let me try again. Because we definitely have to get that... I mean, I guess we don't have to get the blue balloon, but that could cause problems. Alright. There we go. I think that did it. All right. So now we have our stress ball. And if you're happy with this, then you can just do this. Like you don't have to add anything extra to it if you don't want to, but we're going to. <laughs> so to make the hair, it's really easy. You just need some string. And then if you want longer hair, use four fingers. And if you want shorter hair, use three fingers. For this one here, I think I use four fingers. So you can see it still looks pretty short. All right. And I think for this one, I did uh, 24 go rounds. Um, but I don't think I have enough string left to do 24 again. So we'll just see. Okay, and we definitely need more than that left over, so I'm going to come back around to right about there. Snip that off. Okay, let me move this out of the way. All right, and then pull it off, but kind of keep it with its loops. And then you're going to lay it down. And then just knot it up. Okay. And then take your scissors and go through your loops like that. And then again on the other side. Okay. So now you have your hair and you have plenty of extra string there to tie it on with. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> okay, and you can trim off your extra. All right, so now your little stress ball has hair. And then, let's see if I can draw an upside down face. <laughs> upside down for me, not upside down for y'all. Okay. Some eyeballs. And I made this one smiley. Let's make this one worried. Oh, now it just looks angry. All right, there you have it. You have your stress ball. Now, before you start squeezing away on him, it's a good idea to let your permanent marker give us some time to dry. Otherwise, you're gonna have permanent marker all over your hands. But yeah, this is super easy. Um, it is really nice to kind of have something that you can just kind of play with in your hands while you're studying even. Um, even if you're not using it as a stress tool, um, sometimes it's nice to have something to do with your hands while you're doing a lot of reading. I know some people are like that anyway. Um, so there you go. You're good to go. Um, oh, I did say I was going to tell you some other things that you could use instead of cornmeal. Um, the original recipe or uh, 
ingredients that I found for this called for flour. And I thought flour would be a lot harder to get into the balloon. Um, so we use cornmeal instead. Um, but you could use flour, you could use sand. Um, I wouldn't recommend like sand from just outside because that can have like bug eggs and stuff in it that you wouldn't want in your stress ball. Um, uh, but uh, just like playground sand that you can buy like at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that um, would work really well. Um, you could also experiment with other things. Um, you, you can buy like the little plastic beads like on Amazon um, that you would fill a beanie baby with. Um, and you could try those and those would probably be really nice. Plus they'd have a really cool sound that would come with them, I think. Um, but there are lots of different things that you could experiment with. The only thing that I wouldn't really recommend um, would be like water or liquidy type things. Um, although something you could try, and I might have to try this just to see what happens. Um, you could make some of that uh, do-it-yourself slime uh, with the glue and the borax and then put, try to get the slime down in here. And then that might make a really interesting stress ball. Um, so yeah, lots of different options. Um, great thing to have as the school year moves forward. Um, so I hope you found this uh, video useful this time around. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a good day.